The first valley installation that we did was using a W valley. We're gonna do a second installation using All American Steel's Hem Valley. This valley, as you can see, has an integrated cleat, so you don't need to use a multi-part system. What I'm gonna do now is show you how to finish the end of the valley, how to fold it under and close the W so that you have a nice clean look at the eave when you're looking up from the ground. As I flip the valley over, you can see that the lines that I have on here have been traced along the eave. And what I'm doing is I'm measuring one inch out. I'm gonna cut the valley and that extra one inch is what I'm gonna fold to go over the D-style drip. And it's gonna give me some extra length here in the W so I can fold and close it. So what I've done is I folded, I have folded over all these tabs using that extra one inch. I'm gonna flip the valley over, finish the W, I'm gonna close the W, and then we can install it. So I'm just making a couple of snips so I can fold these sections over. I'm gonna use my hand, fold that tab in. in my hand. Now we have a finished cleat valley where I've folded over all the different layers so that they can clip onto the D-style eave trim and I've closed the W so that when you look up you don't see a large opening here at, in the middle of the valley. Now we can go ahead and install it and then we can start running panel. Now that I've finished the end of the cleat valley, I'm going to install it just so you can see what a nice clean look that you have. So you can see here, everything is folded over. We have a D-style drip and everything's locked in. And the end of the W has been closed. So there you go, I'm going to fasten it. Our fasteners go right here just before, just before the hem. And we're going to put them every 12 inches as we walk up the valley. Before I install the next panel, I want to mention a couple of things about valleys. Here in the north, you want to have a reveal of six inches. This allows the heavy snow and ice load that we get to exit the roof without getting jammed up. The other thing that I want to mention is that this valley has an integrated cleat, as you can see. It's most efficient if you've hemmed your panels and you've clipped into the cleat. What that does is it provides for the additional security against snow and ice lifting the panel, and it allows you to not have to fasten through the flashing and compromise it. You can install your panel, bring the cleat up, and fasten right here into the roof deck. If you've bought this valley and you are not hemming your panels and simply running them into the valley, you're definitely going to have to use fasteners closer to the end so that snow and ice doesn't pick at them and pull them apart. A little trick when installing panels in a valley to make sure that you don't scratch the flat of the valley, you can take a piece of scrap flat stock, put duct tape on the edges, slide it up here, as we've shown you before, so that when your next panel comes up, you're scratching the flat stock and not your new valley. I'm gonna install this next panel. I have a piece of scrap flat stock that I've pushed under the cleat so that I'm not scratching the new valley. And I'm gonna go up. There we are, we're fully engaged. No scratches in the valley. Thanks very much for watching and if you have any questions, please reach out to your All-American Steel rep or shoot us a note through social media.